Hello, we meet again at Follow the Best channel. In this video just only educational purposes between Christians and Muslims. And this time Mr. Ahmed EX Muslim will give many Muslims educations the truth about Jesus Christ. Now, let's look at what Muslims said to Ahmad X Muslim so we can learn the truth from them. So enjoy watching video. Please share, comment and subscribe this channel. God bless you. Okay, so yes, Allah, he didn't prove he is a spirit in Quran, but he proved to me he has physical body, like he has a hand, he what has a leg, that, he has a, what? What do you see that at in the Quran at all? Where does he say that? You're Allah? No. Okay. I'm an insan, I'm a human being. Okay, what are you talking about? So what do you want me to prove it to you? Are you Muslim, brother? But you prove your claim. That's not true. Are you Muslim? Yes, alhamdulillah. Okay, can you tell me if you're Allah knowing the unseen according to this verse? Okay. يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنَ الرُّوحِ قُلِ الرُّوحُ مَنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّي مَا أُتِيتُ مِنَ الْعَلْمِ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا Can you tell me for which reason this verse came down? What was the reverse? Repeat it again. Ah, do you understand Arabic or not? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, Aluna kaan ruh. Qul ruh min amri rabbi. Ma utitu min al almi illa qalila. The ruh would be Jibreel. It would be the angel, Jibreel. Prove it from Quran. The ruh is Jibreel. Look at it. Open up. You have the Quran with you or something. Open it. You go look for it for yourself. I'm gonna tell you. Are you coming? Are you coming to prove? Or are you coming to arguing? I come to ask, that's it. I want you to look at it and read it yourself. You come to ask. You ask I about what? You. Listen, listen. Ahmed, I, I know that I'm not going to win the argument with you because you're going, you're not going to believe it to begin with, to whatever. It's okay you do that, but I want you to please. Just not even your Allah can win any debate with me. Do you know why? Because I know your religion more than your prophet. Then how? I can prove how it to you. Make sense? I can I prove it to you. Do you know why? Because Umar ibn al-Khattab also is no, a prophet. No, no. Now you just contradict yourself. How yes. do you know more about the Do you want me to prove it to you? He, just calm down, Habibi. Okay, Please. Sorry, sorry. No, yeah, that doesn't I'm, make sense. For, for, for what? For we can understand each other. If yeah, you start screaming, that, yelling, nobody can understand you. Tamam, tamam, if you right. have a right, you will yeah. calm down. You're right. Okay. So now, your Allah doesn't know your Allah doesn't know if Muhammad wives need to be cover her body. Your Prophet Muhammad doesn't know if her, his wife should cover it her body. But Umar ibn Khattab, yes. Umar ibn Khattab, he teaching Muhammad and teaching Allah to cover it the body three times. Your Allah obeyed Umar ibn Khattab three times according hadith وَفَقْتُ رَبِّي فِي ثَلَاثِ Allah obeyed Umar three times which means even Allah doesn't know so let me tell you about the hijab story and go search and come back to me if, if you found I am wrong right for which reason the hijab story always Umar asking Muhammad to cover his wives and Muhammad didn't listening to him finally the Muhammad wife named Sauda bintu Zama. She is the second wife after Khadija, first wife. Second wife after Khadija, right? Before Aisha, he married her. After Khadija died, seven days. After seven days, Khadija died. Muhammad married Sauda bintu Zama. Sauda bintu Zama, she is a fat and tall woman and a black woman. One day, she calling nature and and behind the rock she calling nature behind the tree and Umar ibn Khattab came to her when she was naked calling nature right and he told her I saw you I saw you ya Sauda I saw you and he came to the Muhammad and he told him cover your wives we see it calling nature out Do you want me to show you the hadith You want me to show you the hadith? Listen, come on. 
Okay, you say the hadith. I'm talking about the Quran. Then we go to the hadith. But on your first point, you said about Quran, the Quran. Quran, prove it to me. Prove it to me. From Quran, Quran you're Allah knowing the unseen. Go ahead, Habibi. Who khalaqa, he created everything. How about that? Who said I that? You? If I came to you, if I came to you, all right, that's it. All right. and I said, I create everything, yeah. you will trust me? You know, because you're a human being. You bleed the if same. If I said, uh, how about, at least I am exist. At mean? least I am exist. But you worshiping someone, fake idea, doesn't exist. Muhammad created in his brain and gave it to you as a god. Prove it to me. Okay, so how did he create it if he was illiterate? He created because, because, because Muhammad, not first one, he worshiping Allah. No. His grandfather, the pagan Abdul Muttalib, he is supposed uh -huh. to be worshiping Allah in a cave. Same cave, Muhammad, he said he received revelation there. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> How old are you, Ammar? 19. 19. Okay, which means you pass it the, the age. Okay. Wait, 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 what is so, Ammar Habibi, let me show you this. Uh, hi, can you let me talk? I've already let you talk. Okay, on your first part of the story about the hijab, you said about the hijab. Okay, so you're saying that Allah commands, as soon as He revealed down the Quran, that the people had to get the woman had to reveal the hijab. Right or wrong? You said that, right? I said, Your Allah doesn't know to reveal the hijab. He doesn't know to teach Muhammad for Muhammad covering her wife's body. But Omar teach Allah and teach Muhammad. Okay. No, it's not. Go to the interpretation. Go Listen, to Habibi. You're telling me about Omar. something that doesn't make sense. Are you Sunni or Shiite? Human being. Are human you Sunni being. or Shiite? What do you mean? You are Sunni or Shiite? I thought the Quran and the Sunnah. Okay. So let's go. What does Sunnah meaning? Follow the Prophet's teachings. Based on the understanding of the Quran. That's it. Not just only teaching, Habibi. <clears throat> Let me give you this. Okay. But based on what you were saying about the hijab. Okay, open with me, Sahih Muslim. I don't have another phone on there. You can show on the live, right? You have a phone with you? Okay. Okay, let me pull it up. I have it in Arabic. I will pull it up in English for you. No problem. Sahih Muslim, guys, write it down. Uh, hadith number two, uh, 2170. Seven mean. 2170. Sunnah.com. And we pull it up. And let's tell me here who teaching Allah and Muhammad to cover his wives. In Sahih al-Bukhari also you can found it, hadith number 147, 146, sorry, 146. Okay. I will show you the hadith and I want you to read it, okay? This is sunnah.com, right? Okay. First, okay. And this is... Hold on, hold on. Sahih Muslim 2170D. Okay, before you do that, let me see the full screen. Let me see the full screen. Okay, refresh the page. Refresh the page. Wait. Mm -hmm. okay, press the circle. Again? Refresh the page. Huh? Okay. You refreshed it? Good. All right, let me see. Yeah. Okay. Read. I sure reported that the wives of Allah's messenger may peace be upon him used to go out in the cover of night when they went to the open fields in the outskirts of Medina for easing themselves calling of nature right Umar bin Khattab used to say Allah's messenger ask your ladies to observe the veil but Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, did not do that. So there went out Saud, 
daughter of Sauda. 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 It's blurry. Sauda, daughter of Zaran. Zama. Zana. Okay. The wife of Allah's messenger may peace be upon him during one of the nights when it was dark. She was a tall statured lady. Omar called her saying Saud. Sauda. Sauda. We Sauda. see you. We recognize you. He did this with the hope that the verses pertaining to veil would be revealed. Allah's Aisha said Allah the exhaled the then revealed the verses pertaining to veil. Boom. So who teaching Allah and Muhammad for Allah revealed the verse of hijab? Omar. Allah doesn't know. Omar doesn't know. Uh, sorry, Allah doesn't know. Muhammad doesn't know. Omar teaching him. Okay. Take screenshot for the hadith number. Okay. All right. And I will give you something dangerous now. So Take screenshot for the Sahih al Bukhari too. So explain to me your interpretation of that uh, hadith. I just explain it to you. And your Omar, he is greater than Allah. And Allah obey Omar. And Muhammad obey Omar finally. But let me give you. Yeah, because Allah doesn't know. Muhammad has to cover it his wives. So listen. Okay. When you have a religion. Okay. When you, if I gave to you. Gave you a religion, right? Are you going to believe it right away? Or you want to. You'd want to have first. Do you understand what we're saying here? So your Allah doesn't know Muhammad wives calling nature naked outside. Allah doesn't know. Okay. Allah know or doesn't know. Come on. Amar. Okay. Allah know or doesn't know. Let me see the other hadith you were talking about. No, no, tell me now before we go to the other hadith. What, what Allah know or doesn't know? He does know. So okay, so know, why okay, okay. he I didn't reveal the verse okay. before Umar ibn al-Khattab teaching Muhammad and teaching Allah? Okay. When you first said the calling of nature, how would you know that she was naked? Does it say, it doesn't say anything about her mm -hmm. going naked inside of it. How, 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 someone, how someone calling nature was wearing clothes? When you go to the bathroom, do you take off all your clothes and go to the bathroom? So they didn't uncover it her butt. I'm asking you, do you when you go? She covered it her. Uh, she she uncovered it her butt and calling nature or not? I don't know. You asking me? I think I was there. I don't know. So which you means they poop know. in her pant, right? She poop in her pant. No, you you said she was all naked. To no, naked. what the naked meaning? Your private part is naked. That what? naked meaning. Okay, so what's your point? I don't, I don't get the point you're trying to okay, make. Okay, the point is you're Umar ibn Khattab teaching Allah. So you can't, you're not teaching Allah. He's teaching him literally because Allah doesn't know before Umar ibn Khattab teach him. How? It's not. He's talking to the messenger, not Allah. Let me give you this verse also, this hadith also. You're going to hadith. Look at the Quran. You want a Quran? Prove to me you're Allah knowing. I, let me give you one verse in Quran. Let me give you give one. Give me our Ahmed, Ahmed. You know. لا يستوي. Wait, wait, wait. لا يستوي. القاعدون. Now tell me okay. chapter four, verse ninety-five. Can you show me verses of the Bible. Prove. Okay. Yeah. I want Let you me to show you. Me. Listen. Give Let me. Let me show you. Thank you for coming. Do you see the verse in the Bible? Come on, next. I don't want to waste my time. Hey, Edge, how are you? Hey, Edge, are you doing Muta, brother? Busy? Yeah. Busy with Muta? Busy with Muta. Amar, when you run away, you, ch you change the topic, khalas. Say bye to the camera. 
Say bye to the camera. We needed someone to answer our question. Don't run away from the topic. Okay? We'll give you one more chance. If you run to the Bible, here on my platform, I'm not talking about the Bible. See how many Islamic books? We're talking about those books. And you guys saying Islam is a true. Islam is a true religion. The religion with Allah is Islam. Right? So don't run away to the Christianity. Don't run away to the Bible. Stick on your Quran. Ah, ah. Chopin, Afghan, come on. Hey brother, what's up? Hey brother Chopin, how are you? Are you Muslim, Christian? I'm Muslim, Alhamdulillah. You are very welcome here. Um, thank you, brother. Uh, my question is like, um, so you're an ex-Muslim, right? I just saw your so life. We... I've never been in your life. I never watched your life. Uh, I just saw your name and like it says Ahmad ex-Muslim. Mm -hmm. So, so my... why you are you still Muslim? Can you tell uh, me why you are still Muslim? Um, no, um, I have a question from you. Are you now Christian? Yes, I am ex-Muslim because I see this religion as a pagan religion. How about you? Why you are a Muslim? So, uh, what's your religion now? Uh, it's not your business, Habibi. Um, so, yeah, I'm talking about the true religion. So, is it your business? To open your eye, religion? watch, open your eye, watch to my picture. You can see my face. Oh, so you're a Christian, right? So now let's come back to the true religion. Uh, okay, brother. Right? So why you are still Muslim? I'm asking you, why did you change to Christianity? Because what? Islam is a pagan religion and Christianity is a truth according Quran and Sunnah. Oh, so even in Quran, Allah commanded to me to worship Jesus Christ beside Allah. So and Allah what? tell me and approve it to me only one creator he is Jesus Christ. <laughs> You sure you're you laughing? Ask me to prove because, to you. Because you're a liar. You are never. Been Ask me to prove to you, and we will <laughs> see who is a liar, right? Okay, prove it to me. Front of 172 person. Prove hmm? it to me if you are a Muslim. Prove it to you. I am a Muslim. I'm not Muslim anymore. You are an. How can I prove it to you? You are. You are like before. We will see now. We will see now who has enough knowledge about Islam. Listen, all the priests, right? you know, all the priests, I'm not... Bro, a are you coming to ask me about my personal information? I'm not looking for Muta. I'm not looking... So now we're here, we're talking about the religion. I'm interested about that. And I'm sharing my I'm, I'm sharing my face on public. Are you dumb, bro? With all respect. I'm showing my face, not fake account. Come on, bro. Man, yeah, like I can see you are a dumb because he's still worshiping Allah handicap. I can see that. So you're Allah's handicap. Okay, so who is if, uh, uh, Jesus' father? Is not Allah? Oh, uh, so you are a Afghani uh, son, right? Yeah, I'm Afghani brother. So you are son of Afghanistan, not I'm son of Pakistan. I'm son of my father. No, and but we call. Afghanistan. <laughs> okay, so your daughter, okay, the son of the uh, son of the root, according to Quran, who is the father, son of the root? Oh. Your Allah in Quran said, Abir Sabil, son of the root. Who is the father of the root? Who is the father of the root? Mm -hmm. Whoever made it. Hmm? Whoever made it. The highway? So the highway do dingy dingy with the boulevard and give it road. 
uh, brother, don't bring like only a small word. So you're Allah not, calling, okay, calling so, Aber Sabir, no. let me show you. And if you want to go to this way, because when I ask you, I told you, you are son of Afghanistan. You said that I am son of my father. No problem. I can go to through to the Quran. You can't run away from the Quran and Listen, switch it. Okay. Brother, uh -huh. brother uh, Ahmad. So I'm not an imam. Aber. I'm not a imam. What? Let me t let me talk to you. You are not I'm imam, and you are I'm not expert in Islam. And why you are here? You are not imam. You are not expert is in Islam, and you waste my time. Why you are here? For which reason? Send someone expert in Islam. Tell him to come defend his religion. Defend your religion, guys. Come on. Defend your pagan religion. Defend your pagan prophet. Defend your statue of Allah. Easy. No, Allah doesn't know, Pope man, Habibi. Allah doesn't know. Allah, bro, bro, let me give you a small point to destroy Allah. Small point. Let me tell you a small point, brother. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, so every single verse in Quran needed reason. Every single verse, Allah sent it for reason. So without reason, Allah doesn't know. He can't send anything for you. For reason. The Quran, for reason. Before reason, Allah doesn't know. After the reason came, Allah sent the verse. And in Arabic we said, Asbab al nuzul right for reason but our bible not for reason came down from knowledge of god prophecy in the future not allah waiting for reason to send a verse no our god didn't waiting something happening to send the verse to get knowledge let me give you one 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 uh, ex example. Allah <coughs> waiting to something happening because he doesn't know for send the verse. Let me show you one verse. <coughs> when the chapter when the verse in chapter 4 verse 59 uh, 95 came down for uh because um one day Muhammad he said, however who fighting is the way of Allah and sitting is not equal. And one guy, he is a, um, what we called um, blind, a blind man sitting in Muhammad's room. Muhammad, Muhammad, he asked his companion Zayd to write it down. The verse came down. There is not equality between who fighting in the way of Allah and sitting, not fighting. And the blind guy, after write it down, Zayd, the blind guy, his, his name, um, Ibn Maktoum, he said, Oh Prophet, how about me? I'm blind. I can't fight in the way of Allah. I'm blind. And he said, wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I receive a verse. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I receive a verse. Okay, except the blind. What? So if this guy, the blind man, not sitting in Muhammad room when the verse came down is not equal. However, who fighting in the way of Allah and sitting, Allah will put this blind people in a hellfire. Oh, because the blind man. Sitting in Muhammad room, Muhammad changed his revelation. So the Quran word of who? Quran word of who? Created by Muhammad opinion. Right? Let me show you the interpretation. This, I hope if I found it in Tafsir, an interpretation of Ibn Kathir in English site. Let me share with you. Chapter 4, verse 95. 495. Tafsir Ibn Kathir. 
Let me see interpretation of Ibn Kathir. They didn't translate. They didn't translate. No. They didn't translate. But we have it in uh, <clears throat> Arabic. We can use a prophet uh, Google peace and a blessing be upon him to translate it to the English. For we show you Allah is done. This is the verse and the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. Let's translate to English. Cool. This is chapter 4 verse 95 Tafsir Ibn Kathir. In Arabic side. Let's read it, the Bukhari Hadith. This is Bukhari Hadith. Al-Bukhari also said, Ismail bin Abdullah told us, Ibrahim bin Sa'ad told me on the authority of Salih bin Kaysan, on the authority of Ibn Shuhayb, Shihab, Sahil bin Sa'ad al-Sa'di told me he, wa he saw Marwan ibn Al, uh, Al Hakam in Damask. He said, So I approached until I sat next to him. So he told us that Zaid bin Thabit told him, The Messenger of Allah, peace, 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 and an un peace, dedicated uh, it to me. The believers and those who strive in the cues of Allah are not equal. Then Ibn Um Maktoum, this blind guy, came to him and he was dedicating to me. He said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, if I were able, I, I were able to had, I would have thought, and he was a blind. He was a blind. So Allah revealed it to the Messenger of Allah, peace, 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 and his thigh was on my thigh. So it was heavy on me until I feared it would crush my thigh. Then he walked away from him. So Allah revealed not those who are harmed. Boom. Boom. So which means Allah looking for reason he doesn't know. Allah doesn't know. And Muhammad he changed Allah revelation only for the blind man. 